iOS and Android. That's some uh, ambitious yeah. goals right there. To rival only the two most successful operating systems ever. Uh, I Sounds would, fun. I would I'd even, like to check it out. I didn't even know where to start. Thank goodness I'm not the one being tasked by the government to build it. Did they come over and point at me? Hey, you over there. We, we want an operating system to rival iOS and Android. You have two weeks. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll get on it. The Indian government is planning to incentivize the creation of an indigenous mobile operating system to rival iOS and Android. The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has announced via the Economic Times. The proposal announced on Monday by Minister of State for Electronics and IT, Rajiv Chandrasekhar will encourage the technology industry to create a homegrown Indian mobile OS explicitly intended to create an alternative to iOS and Android in India. So this is part of this move from the top down to have homegrown alternatives in general, mm. whether it be uh, social media or, in this case, an entire operating system. Mm -hmm. Uh However, it, this one specifically, this isn't any one app. This is uh, incredible, an incredibly difficult thing to do. W w could they even, from the ground up, uh, approach such a thing at this point? Because you think of interoperability, you think of app mm -hmm. stores. You, yeah. Is it going to run Android apps uh, still? It would have to be some kind of skin. Some kind of Android skin. I mean, I know that's not what they're saying here. They're saying an OS. I mean, Huawei did it. I a guess, completely new operating system. Is it completely new or does it have any Android source in there? Uh, anyway, the project fits in <laughs> with Prime Minister uh, Modi's aim to create domestic leaders across multiple industries and product categories as well as bolster the country's technology industry, the Indian government has unveiled a roadmap to achieve 300 billion worth of electronics manufacturing in the country. Well, that has been going on. Uh, increasingly, even with Apple, they've been moving production to India, even for the latest devices. Mm -hmm. Mass production iPhone 13 is set to start in the, uh, next month, and they're finally going to get a retail store. So some of those moves from the government seem to have had some kind of an impact here on uh, technology companies moving a portion of their manufacturing to uh, India itself. They, they had some policies around tariffs and things in order to incentivize some of that movement. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. I think there's other external forces as well that probably play some sort of a role. Affordability, skilled labor when it comes to manufacturing things there. Um, yeah, if they're, if they're truly trying to have a ground up operating system, then it's going to be very, very expensive for one. And there's going to be, need to be incentives across the board for developers. Thir yeah, for developers of the apps that are going to run in such places. And that will be comparable to the alternatives because they're not going to shut off the tap to the other devices that are available. Now it's important to note that this uh, this particular incentive would probably have a bigger impact on Android than iOS because most of the devices in that country are Android devices. Mm -hmm. um, however, uh, like I said, it's uh, very ambitious. That's what I would say. If anybody asks my opinion, and they are not asking my opinion, and they do have billions of dollars, but I say this is a very ambitious task here. Yeah. Let's just, can we scan Android, please? S sir, would it be all right for me to like start with Android as a base and throw some government skins on it? Mm -hmm. I think that this, uh, if they're going to build it from the ground up, it's going to be long term. Mm -hmm. And initially, it's probably going to be bare bones. I guess at this point, at that point, if you've done such things, you might as well do the hardware too. Mm -hmm. You might as well have, you have government OS and government hardware. Now, this is a good point to actually ask locals there. Would you be at all interested in a government OS, government-funded OS, and government-funded hardware? I mean, it seems so strange, right? Especially in the 
this era where it's so competitive. There's so many smartphone brands competing for your money and aggressively. Mm-hmm. In- increasingly, you're getting more for less with a lot of brands, particularly in India. You have a ton of selection. But- it's hard to imagine how this proposition would be seen as superior even if you had tremendous pride in you and you and you loved the idea of homegrown talent mm-hmm. and homegrown products still it's hard to imagine that it could be competitive without mm-hmm. bleeding a tremendous amount of money to or or somehow punishing the other players who are trying to get their products into the country right it's a tough tough one 